we have to go back, said Dusty. I hope that the goblins have put their binoculars away. They flew slowly and low, keeping their eyes on the battlements. Would a goblin peer over the top and spot them? The closer they got, the stronger the icy blast from the hailstorm between. The wind whistled as it hurtled around the tower. Brr, said Rachel. I wish you were wearing something warmer than dressing gowns. They were so close to the tower that the hailstones were peppering their faces. They stopped and tried to see through the swirl of snow and ice. It's just a smooth tower, said Trusty. I do not think there's a way in. There was no door at the bottom. Rachel and Trusty flew upwards, looking for windows, but there did not seem to be a single one. They had almost given up when the wind grew calmer for a few seconds. In that moment, Trusty spotted something. Look, she exclaimed. At the very top of the tower was a single small window. Through the whirling hill, they glimpsed a feeder sitting at the window. She was wearing a pink hijab with jeans and a white shirt. Her arms were wrapped tightly around her knees. Elisha, they talked together. The little fairy heard them and jumped to her feet. Rachel, Trusty, she cried. Oh, thank goodness. Jack Frost locked me in here, and I cannot get out. We know, Rachel shouted to her over the howling wind. He wants you to show him how to use the belita lamb. I will never help him to spoil it, said Elisha in a loud, determined voice. He will have to keep me locked up forever. We will not let that happen, said Trusty. We are here to rescue you. She shared a worried look with her best friend. How are they going to set Elisha free? They could not even get close to the tower. The window is too small to climb through, even if we could get past the hillstone, said Trusty. Do you have your wand? Rachel asked. Elisha shook her head. Jack Frost took it from me when he made the tower, she said. Her head drooping, he dropped it into the deep snow below and laughed at its sank. Without my wand, I am helpless. We will find it, said Trusty in a determined voice. She and Rachel dropped down to the thick snow that was heaped up around the tower. Let us start digging, said Rachel, rolling up her dressing gown sleeves. This is going to be cold work. They plunged their hands into the snow and gasped at the cold. My fingers are numb already, said Trusty. I feel as it, if it's freezing my bones. We have to keep going, said Rachel. They, are both, they were both soon covered in a thin layer of frost. Their arms hair crackled stiffly, and their eyelashes turned white. Keep moving your wings, said Kirsty, shivering. If they freeze, we will not be able to fly. Even my teeth are cold, said Rachel, her teeth chattering. Over and over again, they pushed their hands into the snow and stretched out their fingers. Over and over again, they felt nothing but snow in their hands. I feel as if Jack Frost is laughing at us, said Rachel. Come on, Mom, Dusty whispered. You must be here somewhere. Suddenly, Rachel's fingers deep. Pinder deep brush against something. Her hand was so numb that it was difficult to hold onto anything, but she squeezed mm. as hard as she could and gave a mighty tap. 
there was an explosion of snow and Rachel fell backwards, slashing a delicate one. We got it, she cried out. Elisha, we found it. Shuddering with cold, Rachel and Thirsty zoomed up to the tiny window at the top of the tower. Elisha gave a wall of happiness when she saw them. I cannot believe you found it, she thought out, but how can you get it to me? The hailstorm was raging towards around the tower. We will be whooshed away in a second if we try to fly through that, said Rachel. The wind dropped for a moment earlier on, said Trusty. Maybe it will do that again. Hardly daring to breathe, the fairies waited. Eat celebration all over the world depended on Elisha getting her one back. After a few moments, the howling grew quieter and the whirling wind slowed down. It is now or never, said Rachel to herself. She aimed the one at the little window, her heart pounding. I know you can do it, said Trusty. Hoping Trusty was right, Rachel took a deep breath and drew the wand.